When we're planning a super long trip, like going from one continent to another, we usually hop on a plane and brace ourselves for spending quite a few hours up in the sky. But hold on, when we switch gears to space travel, it's not about planes anymore. Space adventurers are always on the lookout for a way to zoom through space faster than light itself, so they can explore the far reaches in a flash. Now, here's the exciting part. Scientists have stumbled upon a cool new idea that might just be the ticket. So, how does this idea work? What does it need? And when can we start using it for our speedy space adventures? Check out this video where we dive into Versa Vista. Awesome new discovery for traveling faster than light. Thanks to the sun and other artificial light sources created by humans, we can see different places. The high speed of light allows us to instantly see our surroundings illuminated, making it enjoyable to take in the view. Now, let's talk about the exact speed of light. Although the speed of light is an ultimate limit for the movement of waves, we've calculated its precise speed, which is exactly 299,792,458 meters per second. This means that light covers about 300,000 kilometers in just one second. It's so fast that if you turn on a lamp in a dark room, the whole place immediately fills with light, and we don't even notice the movement of light inside the room. Another unit of measurement that involves light is a light year, which is the distance light can travel in one year. This distance is about 10 trillion kilometers and is a method astronomers and physicists use to measure vast distances across the universe. As you know, the universe is so vast that it can take thousands of years for light to travel from one part to another. For example, it takes about one second for light to reach you from the moon, meaning the moon is one light second away from us. However, sunlight takes more time, roughly eight minutes, and its distance becomes eight light minutes. Now, consider the star Alpha Centauri B, which is the closest star to our solar system. It takes approximately four and a third years for its light to reach us. This means Alpha Centauri is about four and a third light years away from us. In other words, the image we see from there is from about four years ago. Stars and other celestial objects beyond our solar system are situated at distances ranging from a few light years to several million light years. This is why everything astronomers observe in the distant universe is, in a real sense, both far away and from the past. When scientists study distant objects, they are essentially looking at light that originated in a very distant past. I hope you haven't gotten confused by the video so far. However, while there are many incredible things that can be done with light, scientists have attempted to find a way to travel at the speed of light. The idea is that eventually humans will become an interplanetary species. For example, Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, wants to build a colony on Mars. In such a scenario, for travel to Mars, we would need to have short trips to the moon first and establish a base there. Because all these journeys take time, moving at the speed of light would make interplanetary travel much more manageable. So, while we're exploring the wonders of the cosmos and understanding distant objects, scientists are also dreaming of a future where we can travel between planets at the speed of light, making our journey to becoming an interplanetary civilization a reality. For a better understanding of this topic, let's consider a conventional journey to Mars using current technology. According to NASA, it takes about nine months for such a trip. Now, if we were to travel to Mars at the speed of light, this journey would only take about 15 minutes. It's worth noting that 
the orbital distance between Earth and Mars varies, so this time can be significantly shorter or longer. But we are considering an average distance. Researchers have explored various methods to achieve travel at extremely high speeds, but there has always been an unsolvable problem until a new method is proposed. High speed, even just 1% of the speed of light, is tremendous for us. With such technology, we could easily travel from east to west across a country in less than a second. So, what has been holding us back from achieving such high speeds? The answer is energy. Any moving object possesses kinetic energy due to its motion, which physicists call kinetic energy. To move faster, we need to increase this kinetic energy. The challenge here is that a significant amount of energy is required to increase the speed of an object. For instance, to double the speed, we need four times the energy, and to triple the speed, we need nine times the energy, and so on. For example, to accelerate a person weighing 50 kilograms to 1% of the speed of light, we would need 20 trillion joules of energy. This amount of energy is equivalent to what 2 million people in a large city would use in a day. In the past two decades, a technology called the M-Drive emerged. It was registered and heavily marketed as a revolutionary and propellantless technology. The theoretical principle behind it involved trapping microwave waves in a closed container, causing a thrust. The catch was that it seemed to move without any input or output of fuel. The M-Drive operates based on Newton's second law, meaning that an electromagnetic wave moving at the speed of light carries a specific momentum transferred to a reflector, creating a small force. The accumulated force in opposition to a chamber is what activates the M-Drive. While it may sound simple, it fundamentally challenges our understanding of physics, as no energy appears to enter or exit the system. However, despite its theoretical promise, the M-Drive faced skepticism and was often considered more of an imagination than a practical solution. With all its limitations, something new was needed. This brings us to the warp drive technology. The concept was first proposed by a Mexican mathematician in 1994, presenting the groundwork for what would become known. However, the technology required an immense amount of energy, along with a hypothetical substance called exotic matter, which worked as a common element in the system. Exotic matter is a theoretical form of matter with negative energy density and negative pressure, not found in nature. Many modifications were made to this concept until, in 2021, a former NASA engineer introduced a modification to the warp drive structure that could consume less energy. Still, it faced the challenge of needing exotic matter. Finally, a group of Swiss scientists presented a different concept of warp drive that didn't require exotic matter to generate energy. However, their model couldn't exceed the speed of light faster than the initial design. First, let's take a look at how the original warp drive was designed to move faster than light, and then we'll examine what the new approach by Swiss scientists brings to the table. As you know, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, no object can move faster than the speed of light. The initial concept of the warp drive didn't intend to defy this law. Instead, it proposed creating a bubble that warps space and time itself. This warp drive bubble moves faster than light, while the equipment inside the bubble doesn't exceed the speed of light. In the technology of warp drive, the bubble moving in space and time contracts its front portion and expands its rear portion to move forward. According to the Swiss researchers, this contraction and expansion are not necessary for forward movement in space and time. Therefore, in their design, this feature is eliminated, removing the need for exotic matter. This is a fundamental advancement in spaceship technology.
as the limitation of a non-existent substance is lifted. According to the Swiss researchers, their idea is more compatible with physics compared to the original concept. Although the new warp drive idea is still theoretical, it at least has the potential for a more straightforward and efficient implementation. The next goal for the Swiss researchers is to achieve warp drive speeds of 1% of the speed of light and document this achievement. Eventually, we could be faced with a real version of the warp drive in the future, moving at the speed of light. I hope you enjoy watching this video.